Hello guys, Sisikar here and welcome back to Star Stable and Anthem Riders. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you get a notification when I post new videos and click on the little bell so you get notifications right away. We are back with the second episode and hopefully we can get up on the horse this time because we hadn't time for that in the first episode because then you need to talk about the game and you need to uh, get to know things and so on. So hopefully, hopefully we will get on the horse today. All right. Enough talk. Let's just go over to Herman over here to see what more we can do so we can eventually get up on the horse. And her stiff run is still a little funny. <laughs> Things have changed in Star Stable, so that's good. But it's funny to go back to the old good games. I'm actually quite fun of that. Hey, Herman. Now let's learn how to take care of your horse. First, you must always make sure that your horse is clean. This makes the horse feel happy and comfortable. A dirty horse performs poorly. In order to clean your horse, you must use the brush. You will notice when the horse is completely clean. Yes, I, this time I will expect or expect, accept the quest. Ooh. And tutorial! If you can pick up an item, or an object or interact with it, the cursor turns into a hand. Click on the left mouse button to pick up interact. Slash interact. <laughs> Clicking on it will start a progress bar. When the progress bar is full, the action has been completed and if it was an item, it will have been added to your inventory. To groom your horse, you use a brush. Left click on the brush in your inventory to turn it into the cursor. Then move the brush to the horse side. Remember that you need to be close to the horse to interact with it. When the icon turns green, click again and you will start grooming. This starts an action bar. When the action bar is full, you are done cleaning and the cleanliness of the horse will increase. Uh, I need maybe need some water before I begin this episode. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it is not certain that the horse is completely clean. If a horse is really dirty, you might have to groom it several times. Thank you for the information. And I see sparkles over here. So now it's in our little inventory. So just gonna have our cursor on it. Right click. That's so not right click. That's left click. But maybe it said left click. Anyway. Angry grooming. There we go. Where is the claim in this thing? Oh, it's full. Good. We have brushed our horse. Mm -hmm. Well done. That looks great. Now that you have shown that you know how to clean your own horse, you can earn extra stable points by cleaning the other horses at the stable too, if you want. Check the information board to find out what to do. And let me know when you're done. And don't forget, you need to buy your own brush at the shop so you can clean your horse when you're away from the stable. Thank you. Okay, Stella, the next thing you need to pay attention to is whether or not your horse is hungry. A hungry horse is a sad horse, and a sad horse is trouble. Choose the type of horse feed you want. Apples, hay, or something else, and see if the horse likes it. We have a lot of hay in the stable, so you can start with that. Alright. Let's start with that. Yeah, horsey. Get some hay. Yeah, I maybe had to read the tutorial, but it was quite the same as the brush you just. Take the hay on your cursor and click it on the mouth of the horse. To feed your horse, you use you use food like hay, different kinds of grass, carrots, or other things horses love. Left click on the food in the inventory to turn it into the cursor. Then move the cursor to the horse's mouth. Remember that you need to be close to the horse to interact with it. When the icon turns green, click again and you will start feeding the horse. This starts an action bar. When the action bar is full, you will have you have fed the horse. Yeah, I fed the horse. There we go. Dot. 
If a horse is really hungry, you might need to feed it several times before it's full. Yeah, it's basically the same information, so if we need to do something more, I don't think we need to read about it. Right? We kind of understand it. Good work! When the horse is well fed, it is happy and performs well. Now that you have shown that you know how to feed your own horse, you can earn extra stable points by feeding the other horse that is stable too. If you want. Check the information board to find out what to do, and let me know when you're done. Hmm. I bet you got I bet you got thirsty from running. Well, so do the horses. Always make sure that your horse isn't too thirsty. Use this bucket to get water from the well and then let the horse drink from it. I think there will be the same information here as well. The, to water your horse, use water. Use a bucket to get water from the wall. Left click on the bucket in the inventory to turn it into the cursor. Then move the cursor to the horse's mouth. Remember that you need to be close to the horse to interact with it. When the, when the icon turns green, yeah, click to giving the horse the water and then the action bar will come and if it's too thirsty you maybe need to give it water several times. Tip! You can't water a horse from horseback. You need to demount de first. Yeah, I kind of understand that. Oopsie doopsie. Here was a lot of things popping up. We need a bucket first. I think that's in the stable here. Yup. And the well is over here. So we're just gonna click, hold it to the well until it turns green and fill up the bucket. And then we will go back to our horse. Click on the bucket and drag it to the mouth to the horse, or up on the nose, actually. <laughs> the horses, the horses, there we go, the horse is not thirsty anymore. Excellent. Remember, in the real world, you need to have a bucket of your own so you can water your horse. You can buy them at the shop. You can earn extra stable points by watering the other horses at the stable, too. If you want, check the information board to find out what to do and let me know when you're done. Whew. Are we now ready to get up on the horse? Hmm. The final task of the day before I let you go is before I let you go is to make sure that the stables are clean. Horses like it when their surroundings are tidy, just like people. Take the shovel and get rid of the manure. All of it. Let me know when you're done. Alright. So we will have so sort of stable chores that we can do. In each stable, I think. To earn money. Or buying equipment for our rider and the horse. And yeah, you maybe see that I have moved the camera because I saw in the first episode I actually blocked the map actually which is here so you didn't see it when i click on the map for example but i clicked it so you could have it here but here is your map in star stable is actually down here so my camera will be on this side from now on <laughs> oh hey there horsey there all the manure is gone now it's tidy in there well done! Now the floor looks like you could eat of it. Even though I wouldn't recommend it. Thank you. <laughs> Whenever my stable gets dirty, you are welcome to sweep up if you want to earn some extra stable points. Check the information board to find out what to do and let me know when you're done. Now then, can we get up on a horse? It's now time for you to get up on a horseback. Go over to the horse that you have been cleaning so nicely. I'm sure it's ready for you. Yay! Finally, I've been looking forward to do that. Let's read a tutorial first. That's crucial. If the cursor turns into a saddle when moved over, over a horse, you can interact with the horse. Click on the left mouse button to mount the horse while on the ground, or dismount if seated in the saddle. W, increase speed, S, decrease speed, tur A, turn left, D, turn right, X, brake. IMPORTANT! A horse will sometimes change its speed without your input. Stay alert and be 
quick to act so that it maintains the gait you want. Important again, you cannot mount your horse unless you have appropriate a tier. Regulation helmet is a must. Alright then. So go over the horse, close to the saddle, get the saddle icon and click. ta -da! We are up on the horse! It's amazing. Very good. Looking good. I have to admit. Alright. Let's ride over to Herman here. Yeah. You see that? It's not showing anything when you back up. But... It will go over to the green one when we are walking, trotting, the yellow one, canter, the orange one, faster gallop, dark orange, full gallop, red. Aha, okay. Then I understand this particular speed parameter or something like that. <laughs> Ponce. It's going a bit slow, but I think we can... That it showed here, right? Strength, speed, yeah. So we can get that up when we are training or getting better equipment. All right, Herman, we're up on the horse. Oh, mm -hmm. excellent. Let me know when you're ready for some more advanced riding exercises. Oh, I'm ready. So you think you're ready? Excellent. Let's get these exercises started. Pay attention to the instructions and keep the horse in the correct gait. Alright, time to ride. Walk. Trotting. Canter. Walk again. Oh, that was very special. Gallop. Oh, it's only called gallop, of course. And then full gallop is the red one. Duh. <laughs> Ooh, congratulations! You have succeeded. Don't forget to collect your well earned reward. Fancy. Finally, we're up on the horse, though. I've been looking forward to that. Thank you, Hermit. That was a lot of fun. Good work. You can keep riding the horse as much as you like. But remember that it's a beginner's horse. Once you get better at riding, you can ride more advanced horses. Can we buy horses? Wow. Also, feel free to come back and let me know anytime you're ready to try again. Doing exercises is good for your horse and will make it better, depending on the type of exercise. If you perform really well, I might reward you with a medal of some kind that you can stick in your trophy cabinet to show what an accomplished rider you are. Aha! We level up! We level up! And it was the same sound as the store stable. That was actually a lot of fun. We got new tutorials as well. To change to a new horse, just visit a stable and click on one of the horses in the stable. A window will appear with information about the horse. No, a window will appear with information about the horse. If you click on the OK button, you will change from your current horse to the horse you selected. You have now increased your level for the first time. You can now choose which skills to increase. Open the character sheet and increase the skill you want to become more proficient in by left click on the plus next to that skill. All right. Riding, command, jumping, carrying. We got an information about this, didn't we? Which one? Let's see. We have all the tutorials here. Command, jumping. Of course, that will so jump higher. Carrying, faster at carrying. Command and riding. Riding. Oh, well, that how many we have. Okay. Maybe we'll take something in all, basically. But I will have riding and command a little before the other ones. 
just giving everyone a point. <laughs> oh, wow. I will maybe learn a bit better about that eventually. All right. Let's just have a look in the stable lane about these horses. Oh, look here. If you go closer, you get a dollar sign or money sign. But there we go. 150. Finnish horse. Bit stronger, discipline is full, endurance is nearly full. How many? How much money do we have? Uh, I actually don't know. That's the. Is that no? That will be the skill points, right? Or is that a no? I think SP stands for our money. Just for fun, I'm just gonna take a stable chore here at the information board. Here the horse needs some serious brushing. The girls have been riding them all day in the ring and are too young to brush them properly. Come and see me when you're done. Herman. Just gonna see if that SP thing increase after we have speak to Herman. After we have brushed the horses. There we go. Let's have a look at this one. That's not so good again, but it's actually more expensive than this one. But this ah, the speed is higher on that horse. All right, speed is something we need. All right, ooh. Nice! Their coats are nice and shiny. Here's the money we agreed on. Then I will take a look. Okay, so this is for the money that we have. So we have no money for a horse yet. But we can stay with this guy for a while, right? But we also need to buy a brush and a water bucket. So let's do that before we actually have to end this video. I see we are actually out of time already. We need a brush. How much does it cost though? Price five, okay. Yes. Thank you. So now, if we click on this again, we have 45. There we go, up on the horse. Okay, you guys, we need to end this video here. We had a lot of things to learn today, like clean the horse, feed it, give it water, and clean the stables, and finally we can get up on the horse and actually do a little exercise. So we have so much to do in the next episode. We had new quests with Herman, and I also see a new dot here, actually. So it seems like we need to explore a little outside the stables in the next episode and that could be a lot of fun. So you guys, what do you think about... I think I will ask this question during the whole game. What do you think about this game compared to Star Stable? You see it's a bit stiffer but you can see the similarities in the Star Stable in 2012-2013 was in this kind of shape. But it's been much better and developed and now the horses are not so stiff, the character is not so stiff, so things have changed. But it's a lot of fun and older games have so much charm and they're just cute. And you have so much memories with them, so I like older games, but of course certain older games I keep away from because they are so... What should I call it? It's so stiff and it's so weird some of the controls how you control the horse and the character is super weird so of the older games are. so yeah some older games are super cute some other is more difficult and little, ah, yeah so it's both loving and little not so loving <laughs> so yeah we're gonna continue in the next episode with new quests and i'm really looking forward to it and we will see eventually if we're gonna get a new horse so give a thumbs up if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends, and I see you in the next episode. Bye!